What to drive a child to kill? It's not an easy question to answer, but here in Houston, several kids are arrested every year for murder. That's right. Last year, eight minors were charged with murder, and this year, that number is already up to at least six. In a new report for our Fox In Focus series, Fox 26's Abigail Dye sat down with a man who murdered a woman when he was only 15 years old. Now 37, he is sharing his story to give us some insight. My name is Thomas Vargas. And can you tell me what you're convicted of and how long you have been in prison? I'm convicted of capital murder. I've been in prison 22 years. I was given an automatic life sentence at the age of 15. The murder happened August 25th of 2002. I know that I committed the murder. I did. Records say that Vargas came to this Pearland neighborhood where he and a co-defendant went into the home of 81-year-old Vita Sutton. They say he stabbed her to death, ransacked the place, and then set it on fire before stealing her car. To this day, I still cannot believe that I did that. Still till this day. It's been 22 years now. Vargas says he was heavily intoxicated and only planned on robbing the house. Do you remember the time in your mind where it went from robbery to stabbing someone? No, I just, I remember just panicking. What I seen was this person laying down in a pool of blood. And this is what I did. That's what I seen. I don't know how I did that. To this day, I don't know how I did that. A cold-blooded crime that Vargas will likely spend the rest of his life here for. But the reason I came to talk to him was to find out why. What drives a child to kill a stranger? I think that was the point where everything was pouring out of me. Everything. Born in 1987, Vargas grew up in South Houston. We would run away at night, sneak away at night, just to be able to go to these places to have fun, like everybody else was, because fun wasn't in the home. For us kids, we were able to run around and see things that we weren't supposed to be seeing. In the environment where I lived at, there was always violence. In 1997, Vargas's brother, Michael, was murdered. My home was in my brother, and he was murdered. And um, when he left, I didn't have a home. I got heavier in drugs and alcohol, and the violence became a lot easier. Street life, drugs, and losing a brother. Vargas says it all hurt, but he says the last straw was being left alone when he was surrounded by happy families. When I sat there in the middle of this basketball court after our game, and I watched all my teammates run to their family, I was there by myself, and uh, you know, I kind of, it kind of, that was the turning point. That day was a turning point for me. It's like a constant reminder that you're not gonna get what that kid gets at his home. That's where the pain comes. That's where the pain comes. What we see with Vargas, multiple adverse child experiences, or ACEs. That's a scale that's commonly used to analyze childhood trauma through abuse, neglect, and household challenges. The Center for Childhood Counseling says that 90% of kids in the justice system deal with at least one of those issues. They're dealing with these traumatic situations without having anyone to counsel them, be there for them, just be a listening ear. I work with Prairie View A&M University, with Prairie View Wellness in Houston, and the work that we do is to connect uh, people and services that are mutually beneficial and life-changing. The biggest thing is, for a lot of these students, is presence. Deep inside, I was hoping someone, someone would care to ask, what's wrong? What are you going through? and no one did. And it all results back to the same thing. Parents need to be involved in their child's life individually. Wow, that story, remarkable. Well, you can scan this QR code at the bottom right side of your screen and it will take you to where we explain how to download Fox Local on your smart TV and that's where you can watch all of our coverage in our Fox in Focus Breaking the Cycle series where we will continue to bring you stories about youth crime in the Houston area.